My name is Ella Neely and I'm a licensed general contractor and I'm the president of EMAC Construction in Los Angeles. In order for my business to grow, there was a lot of essential, important things that I needed to do. These contracts require that you have a lot of administrative work, paperwork that you have to have, the certifications. Before you can even start the job or even bid on the job, not to mention the fact that you have to have bonding and, and capitalization. My name is Alex Rojano. I'm the president of AR Electric Incorporated in the city of Covina, California. If you get small jobs, you get paid immediately. When you start growing, you can't ask for money. And the beginning is to find money, to find the resources, how to finance those jobs before you can make your first or second draw. Minority-owned small businesses sometimes struggle with how to find out how to get contract ready and how to procure government contracts. Minority businesses are a huge demographic. In California alone, over 50% of the businesses are now Latino. One of the big challenges for minority businesses is not just getting certified, though that's very important as a minority business. And it's absolutely important that they get training and coaching, but also that they actually get contracts. There's a lot of stuff that we don't know. It's a lot of resources that we don't have. We need help. The Bridges to Business Success program is a important program for our small business community because it helps minority small businesses be better prepared for accessing contracts. This program is interesting in that it pulls together in a public-private partnership a number of parties, including the University of Southern California, the City of Los Angeles, and it brings in players like City. The direct goal of the program is really to enable these participants to be contract ready because we find that that really is the defining moment or situation that determines whether or not they will be successful in securing the contract. They tell you so many answers. You ask them, where can I find contracts from the government? What's minority? Where do I qualify for minority? How can I be certified? How do I become a disadvantaged business enterprise? What percentage of the contracts issued by the federal government are available for minority business? The relationship that was built with the USC, Citibank, the city, all of the different agencies that were brought in, we were able to deal with them on a very intimate level. Some of the skills that the students who participate in this program get is how to get access to capital, strategic planning, how to get certified, how to market yourself, how to present the information, and how to go through the magnitude of paperwork and minutia sometimes that you have to go through just to get qualified. We did exercises in class where everybody got to know what everybody else did and then we tried to team together on different things. Because of that, one of my classmates got me a job and I built a garage based on that referral. They guide me who to talk to, how to present a business plan, to approach a bank to obtain your necessary resources to help your business. We're excited about today because it gives us an opportunity to celebrate the first 100 graduates of the program since we started the program with City Community Development. These 100 graduates were able to achieve 11.2 million in procurement create more than 400 jobs and access just over 600,000 in financing. I think a lot of it has to do with the mentality. I know that for me, when I started Business to Bridges, B2B, I thought at a smaller rate. Now I think much bigger and I am doing much bigger things. Now that I'm working for a school district, I have my eight people plus three more. Going zero to 11 in three years, that's good for me. I receive at least 10 phone calls a week for people who's looking for minority business certified. We can't handle as much as they call me. <laughs>